If you're from Colorado, I want to talk to you about low-cost multifamily real estate. Super low cost, right? There's a lot of people from Colorado who are investing outside of, you know, the Denver area, places like that. Why? Because the housing prices are insanely high, number one. Number two, the landlord-tenant policies, they're getting ridiculous, okay? So a lot of you guys are moving your money out of state, and I'm going to help you go over uh, a very popular market. We're going to talk about the types of inventory and then go into a deal. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise and I help you guys get your investing going. Now, we're going to be working with my man, Jake. Jake, you have recently moved to the Cleveland market, uh, but you are from Colorado, right? A lot of people in the Colorado area, especially places like Denver, they're trying to get their money out of there, right? They can't afford to do deals, right? Today, Jake, I got a deal for you that's going to require less than $20,000. Imagine putting together a multifamily deal in the Denver area with only 20 k It's not going to happen, ever. And then when you do put a deal together with a lot more money than that, your landlord-tenant policies are out of control, right? So that's why you came to the Cleveland market looking to do some deals. I obviously have the biggest infrastructure out here, right? $200 million in sales, largest property management company of its kind out here. We're helping investors every single day invest their money here. Now, here's the thing, though. You told me you were very interested in uh, quads, okay, single-family homes, and then large apartments. And this is where market knowledge is going to make sense. You're new to the market. I think you're really shooting yourself in the foot uh, by leaving out duplexes, right? Because there is a lot of duplex inventory out here. You can make a lot of money investing in duplexes, right? So you don't have an issue doing the small stuff, the one to four units, right? One to four units are great because you get the 30-year residential financing, the best type of financing. So in the Cleveland market, with your budget, I don't see any big opportunity or real opportunity here for you doing anything that's five units and up. Like there just isn't a lot of inventory, number one. Number two, you're not going to get very good financing terms because with your budget, that puts you at like five units, six units, seven unit buildings. And those are always a mess to get a loan on, right? So for you, I would focus on the one to four units. But if you're only looking at singles and quads, you're really missing the – you're missing the, the – the movie why it's playing bro because there's not a lot of quads out here when a quad does pop up yes you should look at it yes you should try to take it down but you're really missing the ball because there's so many good opportunities in the duplex space we have just a large amount of duplex built up in this market not so much with the fourplex so today i'm showing you a duplex that is currently off market i actually was working with a different client Put it under contract, seventy-seven thousand five hundred with your loan, and I'll go through those details. You don't even need twenty grand, bro, uh, to take this thing down. Twenty grand out of your pocket or less. He's under contract at seventy-seven and a half, and he has to exit the deal. He's got personal issues, so he can't do the deal. So before the seller goes and puts the property on the market, I want to have you slide in and have you pick it up before you got to compete with other buyers out there for the seller to put it on the market. So I'm going to leave you with the original analysis I gave to him, and I think if this one makes sense to you, me and you should take this one down before a seller puts it back on market. Let's go. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. This this is the good part of the show. The meat and potatoes, okay? 6.30 East Avaliria, five days on the market, and I believe we're getting a big discount here. $78,900. Now, anybody 
who's uh, paying attention to my show or understanding what's going on with the Cleveland market knows. If you're buying duplexes in decent C-ish grade neighborhoods, you're paying about a hundred grand. This one already deeply discounted at 78.9, and I think we could go a little bit further and get it for about 75. The question: Why? Why do we have the ability to pick something that should normally be 100, pick it up for 75? Why? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, when people look at the Cleveland market from all over the world because people are hearing things, they're seeing national publications, articles, this or that, they're hearing that Cleveland's the best cash flow market, Cleveland's the best cash flow market, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. All they do is say Cleveland. They forget to mention all the other areas in the greater Cleveland area, the other cities, and investors right from all over the world, they just narrow in on stuff that has a Cleveland address. This doesn't have a Cleveland address. This has an Elyria address, right? Elyria, whoop, getting tied up on the cord here. Elyria is about a half hour west of Cleveland, right? People heard about LeBron James, right? You know, you've heard of LeBron James. I would imagine if you're a living, breathing human being, you know who LeBron James is, right? Everybody knows LeBron James is from Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. LeBron James ain't from Cleveland, people! No, he's not. LeBron James is actually from a city called Akron. It's about 30 minutes south of Cleveland, right? Southeast, all right? So this is the same distance from the city of Cleveland as LeBron's hometown, but everybody just refers to everything as Cleveland, right? That's great. Because that means all the investors from nationwide are focusing in on the Cleveland properties, and I believe that artificially inflates their price a little bit. And then deals like this one fall through the cracks because nobody's paying attention, right? It's in the Cleveland market. My team, we handle it, $200 million in sales. We have tons of properties over here, right? To us, it's all the same, right? To the locals, it's all the same, right? To out-of-state folks, they don't ever pay attention to that. You never hear of Illyria. There ain't no... National publications, no articles on any investment website you're on where they're like, Elyria is a great place to invest. Nobody's ever said the name Elyria. It's a teeny little suburb, right? Cleveland, the Cleveland market, folks, multiple millions of people, right? I think it's three or f three to four million people, I believe, is in our metro area. Only like 340,000 of them actually live in the city of Cleveland. Think about that, right? In addition, I actually like the government in Elyria better than the government in Cleveland. Now, that's one reason why the price is so low. Second reason it's fallen through the cracks here is, well, the, <laughs> the listing agent, God bless his soul, hasn't done anything, okay? As far as pictures go, we got one picture, nothing else. What did he have to say about the property? Not a damn thing, a completely blank listing. Didn't say what the rents were, didn't write not one word about the property. Literally did next to nothing bare minimum effort this is not the appropriate way to market a property but that's okay i dug deep found out some info for you guys the tenants are paying 500 bucks a month in rent now you have no insight into what's going on at this property you have no idea what it looks like you have no idea what the conditions is uh and you don't know what the rents are unless you're talking to me and i've just told you they're 500 right so you have no clue what's going on well guess what here's the skivvy here's what you really need to know here's the information you're going to have that everybody else doesn't have 500 that's below market rent month-to-month -month tenants below market your market rates for these units are 650 and 750 we got a 1 1 a 2 1 should be bringing in market 16 8 of that 16 8 i believe after fixed and variable expense estimates you'll be netting approximately 78 78 i believe we can get it at 75 because nobody's paying attention to Elyria. number one number two <laughs> the marketing there's like nothing for anyone to work off of right uh so because of that i think we can get it at 75 that means you pick this up only 18,750 out of your pocket bank kicks in the rest and that folks would be a 27 percent cash on cash return if you can get those current tenants up to market rate We'd want to do so by slowly increasing the rents. We wouldn't want a turnover to occur because I'm going to tell you some more information that's not in the listing. And you know what? This is information that you're going to get when you've sold $200 million worth of real estate. Here's the deal. This is not something you should anticipate. The units are brand spanking new. No. Long term, month to month, below market rate tenants. When those tenants move out, you're not just sweeping and then putting in new tenants at market rate. No. You're doing a full turnover, right? You're probably looking at like between five and 15 grand, depending on what's going on, right? Uh, walls, carpet, probably new kitchen, new bath uh, fixtures, okay? 
It's probably what's going to happen. That's what you need to anticipate. So we don't want to just jack their rent up and have them move out because we don't want to spend that money. No. Instead, we go up slowly, 25, 25, 25, and get them up to market rent without ever creating a turnover, never paying for that turnover, right? Turnovers are what kill your returns, guys. Not getting a thousand bucks a month for a seventy-five thousand dollar profit. It cash flows right now. Okay, so everything we get is going to be cherry, right? You want to get more rent without incurring a turnover. And as far as your big ticket items, roof, hot water tank, furnace. Do not expect any of them to be brand new because they are not. Now, back to my chart. As you see, I have a little something here. $840 a year for capital expenditures, okay? That's money you're saving. You actually get that money right now, okay? That's your money. But I'm not allowing you to consider that return, right? It I don't hold it. It goes to you. So you can spend it on freaking hookers and cocaine if you want. But what you need to understand is that's fairy dust, <laughs> different than the dust you're shoving up your nostrils. Uh, you're not actually making that money because you have some big bills that are going to be coming up a roof is about seven thousand dollars roofs last about 30 years this property don't got a new roof when we get it inspected by the third party home inspector i'm sure it's going to say it's got you know the last five years or so of its life cycle right ten five to ten it's going to be in the back end furnaces Cost about three grand. We're going to be in the back end of those. They last 30 years. How water tanks, they cost a grand. We're going to be on the back end of those, right? So they last, uh, cost cost about a grand to replace, last about 15 years. We're going to be the back end of all three of those things. That's why I want you saving 840 a year and preparing for when those bills eventually come because they will. But, hey, guess what? We're picking this thing up at 75 k and a property basically in the exact same condition properly marketed with a Cleveland address. We get you a very similar tenant base, very similar rent rates, be in the same or similar condition, and it costs you about 100000 So this deal is a screamer, but ain't hey, nobody but you knows it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.